determine the power dissipated by 3 ohm resistor in the circuit shown in figure. Now, if we observe the figure to find out the solution, either you can follow mesh analysis, node analysis, or start to delta transformation. You will solve the problem in nodal analysis. First of all, you will consider nodes V1, V2. Now you will consider node 1 at this place and node 2 at this, node 2 and node 3. This is the node 3. Now here is the reference node or zero potential node. Now if you observe carefully, not node 1, we will assume a voltage V1, but node 1 voltage which is equals to 12 volts. We are assuming a nodes V1 at node 1, V2 at node 2 and V3 at node 3. Now by observation itself, by observation, V1 is equals to 12 volts. Now at node 2, we will apply KCL. Apply KCL at node 2 then now if you write down the equation at node 2 you can write v2 minus v1 by 2 plus v2 minus v3 by 2 plus v2 minus 0 by 2 equals to 0 algebraic sum of currents that first one is V2 minus V1 by 2. This is the 2 ohm resistor. Next one is V2 minus V3 by 2. Last one is V2 minus 0 by 2 equals to 0. Now here, if you substituting the value of V1, then it is V2 minus 12 by 2 plus V2 minus V3 by 2 plus V2 by 2 equals to 0. Now by separating V2 and V3 terms, by separating V2 and V3 terms, we can have an equation V2 multiplied by 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 minus V3 by 2 equals to 12 by 2. This is equation number 1. Apply KCL at node 3. V3 minus 0 by 2 plus V3 minus V2 by 2 plus V3 minus V1 by 3 equals to 0. See, V3 minus 0 by 2, V3 minus V2 by 2 and V3 minus V1. Now, this is the part. V3 minus V1 by 3 equals to 0. Now we already know the value of V1 by substituting the value of V1 which is V3 by 2 plus V3 minus V2 by 2 plus V3 minus 12 by 3 equals to 0. By separating 
v2 and v3 terms this equation will be minus v2 by 2 plus v3 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 equals to 12 by 3 this is equation number 2 now by solving equations 1 and 2 v2 equals to 5.714 volts and v3 equals to 5.142 volts we need to find out to find power we will find out voltage across 3 ohm resistor which is equals to 12 minus v3 equals to 12 minus 5.142 which is equals to 6.858 volts power dissipated in 3 ohm resistor is equals to either i square r r v square by r here the value of voltage is 6.858 volts whole square by r is 3 ohms which is equals to 15.6 watts therefore power P equals to 15.6 watts apply kits of nodal analysis to find node voltages now in the given circuit it is directly mentioned nodes 1 and 2 you can observe here is node 1 and here is node 2 the question is to find out node voltages means at node 1 and node 2 we need to find out the voltage now to find out the node voltages by using nodal analysis now at node 1 we will assume a voltage v1 and at node 2 we will assume a voltage v2 at node 1 we will assume a voltage v1 at node 2 we will assume a voltage v2 you need to apply kcl and you need to find out the node voltages now to find out the node voltages v1 and v2 now apply kcl at node 1 if you will apply kcl at node 1 we will write down the node equation v1 minus 10 is a 10 volts by resistance is 2 here is v1 and here is the 10 volts 10 volts 10 volts here is 10 volts battery is there v1 minus 10 by 2 ohms resistance this is the 2 ohms resistance plus v1 minus 0 by 4 because this is a having a zero potential this is zero potential or reference node normally consider this is a zero potential or ground or reference node v1 minus 0 by 4 plus v1 minus v2 by 2.5 is the 2.5 ohms is that this is a 2.4 ohm resistance which is equals to 0 algebraic sum of currents in this is in unit current v1 minus 10 by 2 v1 minus 0 by 2 v1 minus v2 by 2.5 algebraic sum of currents is equals to 0 by separating v1 and v2 terms you can write the equation v1 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2.5 minus v2 by 2.5 is equals to 10 by 2 we are separating v1 and v2 terms this is equation number 1 kcl at node 2 now if we are applying kcl at node 2 now 
v2 minus 4 by 1 plus v2 minus 0 by 5 plus v2 minus v1 by 2.5 equals to 0 because here is 0 here is the 0 potential or ground this is totally the 0 potential or ground now here v2 minus 0 by 5 v2 minus 4 by 1 v2 minus v1 by 2.5 here also if we separate v1 and v2 terms what is minus v1 by 2.5 plus v2 into 1 by 1 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 2.5 is equal to 4 by 1 this is equation number 2 now by solving equations 1 and 2 we can obtain the values of v1 and v2 v1 is equals to 5.714 volts and v2 is equals to 3.928 volts now the given question is you need to find out voltage across each node now the node voltages are v1 is equals to 5.71 4 volts and V2 is 3.928 volts. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like.